this caused me to think that anyone that was sitting there in that room uh, made us think that that is places where we can go. Some of the things that you said there take me back, like some of the situation. Yeah. And it helps everybody, so it's nice to get into a group and share, the, share your stories. I wish I had been stronger with the relationship I was in. Workshops aimed at raising awareness about domestic abuse and sexual violence to help women better understand risks and recognise signs of abuse and plan protective strategies to avoid or exit abusive relationships. So hello everybody and welcome to our evaluation day from the workshops about good and bad relationships. We're really, really pleased to see you all and we're very proud that everybody's completed the workshops and that you've managed to get here today, so it's lovely to see you all again. It's really, really good. Um, what we're going to do today, we've got Kevin here, who Kevin Payton, who comes from the University of Sunderland. So he's got the, um, the, the lovely task of presenting everybody with their certificate, which says they've completed the workshop, so you'll get a, um, a nice friend certificate that you can put up somewhere at home if you want to. Not many people get a university certificate so you have achieved something and I think you should, before I hand the certificates out, I think I'd like to say to all you, I think you should all be very proud of yourself mm -hmm. for getting these. It's a real achievement. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Thank you Kevin, that, that's absolutely right. So I'll it's call the name so one by one. It's done in a very, very empathetic way and in a very supportive environment which gave the women the opportunity to open up and speak about their issues in a safe way, yes, which was cathartic. Yeah, I, I could see how that really worked for them and how it was really quite a s special process. The workshop was done in such a way it was very safe, and I think, although I know everybody quite well, there were some things that were flagged up, which, which shows that um, the workshop was working and people were understanding a lot of what you were saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was kind of hitting home, and people were starting to give their own personal yeah. experience. It opened up a lot of issues around what abuse is and the different yeah. forms of abuse. And I think the women in the Geordie Mums had a real insight into that and understanding and were able yeah. to articulate that really well. Yeah. That yeah. Domestic abuse yeah. is a crime, <laughs> that the police take a proactive response and that there yeah. are lots and lots of agencies across this city who would be more than happy to help the women with their choices and yeah. their particular issues. My challenge is I'm not uh, very skilled in safe relationships, but now I, now I am. And the approach, it's, you, you can't do a softly, softly approach. You just get in and say it like it is. Yeah. I'd like to just learn about uh, like what's right and wrong in a relationship and what to look out for. And it, it sort of learned, yeah, like if you, if you didn't know what was going on, it sort of showed you what like things can happen in a relationship and right. what can't and it was just sort of what was right and wrong. And, and you spoke a lot didn't you about emotional abuse, yeah. I remember you using those words yeah. emotional abuse and you talk, you shared quite a lot didn't you about the personal yeah. stuff which I think was very was very helpful for the group and helped us to it understand was, yeah. what you were going to say. Yeah so I'm just deciding whether to stay in my relationship or to get out of it because I don't, I, I don't want to put up with it anymore because I know it's wrong. <laughs> right. So. And, and did the workshop help you to really yeah. know it was wrong? Yeah. Did you, I, I'm guessing that you sort of, before you came on the workshop, I knew you it, kind was of wrong, knew yeah. it was wrong, but this mm -hmm. kind of brought it into yeah, focus. Yeah, it did. Yeah. And then you went and you oh. talked to other people about it, didn't you? Yes. You talked to your nurse. Community nurse, yeah. yeah. Really good, so it did help you. It did, yeah. I really enjoyed it. It was really good. What, what would you say you learned? I learned about uh, rape and stuff like that. Sexual abuse? Uh -huh. You learned yeah. about that, about people and about people uh -huh. touching you when, yeah. when they shouldn't. And exactly, yeah. Imposing themselves on uh -huh. your private space. Is that uh -huh. what, yeah? Because you spoke a bit about that, didn't yeah. you? About an experience that you'd had. Uh -huh, with this um, lad. But you knew how to, you dealt with that, uh -huh. didn't you? Yeah. How, how did the workshop help you with that, do you think? I told somebody, one of my friends is dad, they know about it. Right. Yeah. Emotional um, and mental abuse, 
I've learned that I can run in uh, families because my um, separated husband, um, his father used to come in and be abusive. I've learned from his sisters and he used to be mentally and emotionally abusive. And unfortunately, my uh, separated husband uh, is uh, copied off him. Because we talked a bit, didn't we, about children who have been brought up in a, in a home or a family where there's domestic abuse, where there's mm. arguing. Yeah, my, mm. my partner, if I wear a certain top, yeah. doesn't like it, and I've got to change my top. Mm. Or as you say, you're not going out, you've got to stay right. in. So he's controlling you. It's controlling us, yeah. and I don't like it. Mm. Because I think the tops are wear well, OK. Yeah. I know a lot of women that wear tops like that and yeah. the f boyfriends are fine about it, but my partner is controlling about it. Yeah. What my boyfriend calls her is a slut. People should be able to dress how they want. Yeah. Um, and people should be able to wear makeup if they want. They should be able to do things that make them feel good about themselves. We were wondering, I think, you know, the things that um, Gillian and Lorna spoke about to do with the clips, the video clips where we saw the, the man who um, talked about what he'd done to the girls who were coming around to his flat, Graham. There was the video of Graham and also the Kira Knightley clip. What did people think of that? It was quite distressing. No, I didn't like them at all. Did you think you learned things from them and it was worth us having yeah. them? Yeah, it sort of shows you what kind of people he is in the world and mm. what men can be like. And yeah. It shows you what's right and wrong in a relationship and that was wrong for yeah. what Graham did to them girls. Yeah. So it really helped you see what physical abuse was, what and sexual abuse was. Different kind of abuses. Yeah, different kinds of abuses. <clears throat> it is a shocking crime, so therefore mm. it needs to be hard hitting. Um, and I suppose if you sugarcoat it, like then that might just reduce its impact. It shows you that you don't know, like, um, you cannot really tell what they're like when you first meet them because you don't know anything about them. So when you first meet them, you may think, oh, that's a nice man. But then when you get involved with them, it could be totally different. Yeah. Throughout Valerie's story, from being a little girl, there were things that put her down, weren't, weren't yeah. they? So it's, it made her made it difficult for her to make good choices sometimes. It's the same for me. Like, yeah. Valerie's story is more or less so you could connect what I've Valerie's been through, story. yeah. Right. So now and... So, because well, so, uh, one of the questions we've got is, what did people think of Valerie's story? Oh, it was awful. It was an awful story, wasn't it? It was. But you're saying you could connect with that? Yes. The similarities yeah. of your life? The same yeah. sort of things that Valerie went through. Yeah. And well, sometimes it can so be good. sexual abuse as well. Because if he doesn't get what he wants, then he calls his names and he starts bringing up my past and, right. and that's puts pressure on his like, blackmail, you know? It's not nice. I know that's wrong as well yeah. because I've got a right to say yes or no. Absolutely. That's your, that's your body, isn't it? And you've got a right to say yes or no. Yeah. But it's just not easy walking away all together when you've been in a friendship or was a relationship. It's not yeah. now with someone for 25 years. It's not easy. No. It's hard to stick to it because mm. it goes in a roundabout. Mm. Like I get on a roundabout, it goes around, I get off, then um, we're not speaking at all, and then mm. I, before I know it, I'm on the roundabout again. Well, from what we've learned, from the things that we've seen in the workshop and talked about, why do people think that Barbara's husband will be wanting it to be just her and for her not to have a friend and not to mix with her family? Because all himself. He wants her all to herself. Yeah. And what's that about, do we think? Being controlling. Control. control. We talked a lot about control. Yeah. He wants to be in control. Mm. And if she's talking to friends who are saying... He doesn't like it. Oh, I wouldn't put up with okay. that. Why don't you do A, B and C? He mm. might lose control, might he? He, he might, yeah. yeah. That's a good point. Yeah. Since doing the workshop, have you done... Do you do anything differently? Um, has it made you think about relationships more? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. In what way? Just like, well, like I said, my partner's emotional, he abusive, and sometimes he can be sexually abusive as well. And as obviously he's learned that it's wrong, 
what he's doing. I already knew that in any way. It's learned is that I don't have to stay in that relationship if I don't want to, and there's options out there for people to find support and get out of the, them sort of relationships. What do you think would make you...? Probably the physical abuse. So if something, if he did that again? Yeah, if he, if he wasn't emotionally abusive to us again, which he probably will be, then, yeah, I would definitely just walk out and... Yeah. And I think this course has been especially good for any woman there that's uh, in this position, maybe a worse position than what I've ever um, been in. And has it felt a safe place to talk about these things? Because they're difficult things to talk about, aren't they, for Very women? safe, and it's, it's hard to talk about them. Um, but I think it's helpful. And it helps everybody, so it's nice to get into a group and share the share your stories. Yeah, and we know because you you joined in a lot. As I say, it made me look at my own re relationship. Mm. Um, I feel that the women were so nice and um, supportive and very mm. comforting. Yeah. And I think if there was any woman who was in that position, I feel that. The woman, the group reached out, and mm -hmm. I, I feel that they would um, maybe be able to talk to someone in the group. The yeah. ladies who did the course might might like to get together to deliver it to some other ladies within within right. the organisation who couldn't get right. to the, the people who couldn't come. Mm -hmm. would be That's brilliant. Great. And yeah. I think that would give everybody a chance to. I do. I do one person. I got you. You could. You could and help design your own course to yeah. deliver. Yeah. So that would be a that would be a good project. I think and I'm just thinking idea. we've got Valerie's story, which we could send you a copy of if you wanted, or you mm -hmm. could make your own story that's more relevant. But we would be very happy to share Valerie's story. Workshops aimed at raising awareness about domestic abuse and sexual violence. <laughs>